have this yet. Rolled it during soccer practice and wiped out. Could have walked it off, but coach forced me to come. My mom's on her way. You should consider a beard. Beards are in. Plus, it'll help with your chin. Okay. Good to know. How's the pain on the scale from one to ten? Six. Eight when you do that. Well, it's probably a sprain, but we'll x-ray. Either way, you're gonna have to rest it. But playoffs are coming up. But you gotta think long term. You push it now, it could only make it worse. And uh, I'll get a nurse in here to disinfect these scrapes. Does it hurt when I press? No, all good. What happened to your ribs? Nothing, they're fine. Four weeks, no training. Seriously, that's like forever. Ah, it'll fly by before you know it. But uh, listen, when you rewrap your, your other tensor, go easy. Too tight and it can cause other problems. Too loose and they'll still show. Well, you can buy compression chest binders. They're easier on your skin. Still, you shouldn't wear them for more than eight hours a day. Yeah, but you need a credit card to buy them online. So your, your parents don't know that you're... A boy? They're fine with the pronouns and keeping my hair short and wearing boys' clothes, but that's about it. They don't know that you bind? I don't know. We don't talk about it. I know about gender dysphoria. I've seen a therapist a couple times for it. Okay. Is there anything I can do to help? I want top surgery. Okay, Danny wants a double mastectomy. He asked you to help him get it? Thirteen's pretty young to make a call on gender reassignment. So you're on the conservative side of the medical? Well, the kid is still growing. And we don't have proper long-term studies on hormones. If he's considering it, he should know the risks. Hmm, well, it's a little outside the lines of emergency medicine. You sure you want to wade into this? I want to make sure he has the support he needs. When the mother comes in, I'd, uh, I'd like to talk to her. Well, let me know what you need. I'm sorry. He shouldn't have gotten you involved. We've been through this. 18 is too long to wait. We had a long talk with his pediatrician, and we all agreed we won't even consider surgery until Danny is an adult. I don't agree. What do you think? I think holding off on a surgical procedure is a wise decision. You're on her side? I'm on your side. Surgery is a big commitment. Your body is still changing. That's the point. I need it to stop. Danny, you're 13. I know what I want. You pass as a boy? With breasts. They won't let me play for the guy's soccer team. Well, what if this is a phase? You think I'm just gonna get over it? Yes, you might. Look, when we get home, we can talk some more, okay? You don't believe me. Come on, Annie. No one is saying that. She just did. You're all the same. Dr. Hunter! Paula, what, what happened? Yeah, I found him trembling on the floor. He, he was burning up. He passed out on the way over. <laughs> Danny, can you hear me? Hey, did he take anything? He said he bought testosterone off some guy at a gym, but would it do that to him? Uh, we need to get him inside. Mike, Mike, bring a chair. Just take a step back. I need a recess stat. Code pain trauma bay. Heart rate elevated, hypothermic, temp is 39 and rising. Cooling packs. You may have ingested some form of amphetamine. Start one megalorazepam. Rate spiking, temp won't stabilize. Norman, give me that syringe. Can I get a flush? Six. One hundred. Ninety-nine. Okay, start fluids, get a CBC, lights, and a CK to check if there's rhabdo. Tell lab to rush a full talk screen. Okay. 
Oh, oh baby. Your labs aren't back yet. But your vitals have stabilized. You're doing good. What do you care? I care. Your mom cares too. We all do. She did. She'd do something. Your mom is scared. I saw the way she looked when she brought you in. She loves you very much, Danny. Not enough to let me have surgery. Mastectomy is a big deal. Look at me. What do you see? Right. Do you know what it's like? I feel caught in between. I just want to be like the rest of the guys. I can't live a lie another four years. Perhaps came back. The shot of testosterone you bought was laced with an amphetamine. It was a large dose, and that's what caused you to OD. Why would somebody sell a kid something so dangerous? Guys think using it gives them a better workout. It doesn't. What were you thinking? You won't let me start tea or get surgery. Danny, please, let's not get into this. I did do some digging. There is a gender clinic in the city who specializes in building action plans for transgendered youth. Action plans? What does that mean? Like surgery? There are interim options. It's a bit late to put you on puberty blockers, but you don't have to do a full cross-hormone to see an effect. So, hormone therapy? Which means my breasts will stop growing? I can refer you if it's something you'd like to consider. Please, Mom. I want this. No more buying hormones off the street. I cannot go through this again, Danny. Sorry. Promise. Okay. We'll hear what they have to say together, and we'll take it from there. I won't change my mind. I'm not promising to change mine. Just one step at a time. Okay, baby? Will you be disappointed in me if this isn't a phase? Danny, you're my kid. You're my son. I love you, no matter what. You know who you are. It's pretty amazing. <laughs>